Okay, this video shows stripping and splicing of polyimid fiber. This is the polyimid fiber. Go ahead and describe this, Vaughn. All right. Um, so we just uh, burned the polyimid fiber. Uh, it's very important to to keep the flame moving to prevent uh, damage to the uh, core itself. Now this is what fluid? Uh, IPA. Isopropyl alcohol. Yes. Yep. So after it's uh, been burned, it becomes damaged, and we can just wipe that off. The ash. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it takes a few uh, few tries here and if there's any left on there you can just re reburn it okay. and then repeat the same process of cleaning. Let's do that just for the sake okay. of the video. So you can kind of see just a little speck kind of towards towards the end there. So I'm just going to kind of reheat that up just a little bit. After that's nice and Nice and burned. Grab a little bit more isopropyl alcohol. Give it a few more clean streaks. And I don't know how well the camera can pick that up, but that fiber it's pretty tough. is nice and clean. You can't even really see it, it's so clean. Yep. <clears throat> so we're going to drop the fiber now into the carrier, which will be uh, specific to, to your splicer. And I'm going to set the depth. I want just a little bit of the poly image um, sticking out at the very end. From the tip. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to close the carrier. You can kind of see, see my setup there. Okay, we can actually see a slight black collar right, on right. the poly image. That's the margin of where the burnt area ended. Exactly. And the bare fiber is extending out beyond it. Yep. Okay. All right, so after our fibers in the carrier, we're going to cleave it. Got it. And we can see that you have a nice, nice good cleave there. Okay. And for protection's sake, we're going to go ahead and drop the polyimid fiber into the splicer while we're working on the other end. So we're just going to drop that in, close that for now, okay. and for demonstration purposes I'm just going to splice on a pigtail here. Okay. And then the acrylate I can just strip mechanically like this. No, no, this is acrylate that mm -hmm. you're now stripping. This is not polyimid. Right. Different coating material, different process. Yep. Uh, and then after the acrylate is stripped off, you still clean, clean the fiber. Now to strip that, you just use the old-fashioned wire stripper mm -hmm. type of device. Mechanically, yep. Didn't have to burn it. Nope. For acrylate. Okay. And we're going to drop this into our carrier. And this should be familiar procedure. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty standard for the, the the pigtails and the acrylate fiber. Okay. Oh, I see a little fiber on our pads here. Clean sure, our out. pads are clean. Okay, go ahead. I actually uh, missed a step there. I was supposed to put this uh, splice sleeve on before we prep all that, but it's not not really a big deal as long as we don't break break the uh, fiber when we're sliding it over. I'm just going to put that back into position. But 
ideally the 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 protection sleeve goes on before we yeah. prep this side. <clears throat> Drop that into our splicer. Okay. Hold on. I've got reflections of lamps overhead here in my okay. video. I'm going to try to get this camera oriented. Okay, now it looks good. And you can see alignment's good. No defects. Everything looks good. We're going to put the uh, protection sleeve on now. Okay. Lift them out of the two magnetic carriers, slide the protection sleeve over the fusion splice, yep. and then drop it up into the oven, the cooker. Yes, sir. And the shrink tubing takes about 20 seconds. Okay. Maybe 30. And it'll give us a beep when it's done. Mm-hmm. There's a little, little gauge here. Uh, th that gauge might not be, be equipped on all splicers. Oh, it's hard for me to focus with these overhead lights. Mm -hmm. They're reflecting in the window of the display. Okay, it's finished, and we can see. And there it is. Yep, spliced. Everything's protected. Let's move that down on top of the white paper. Can I actually just barely see the polyimid right there? Okay. Thanks so much. Hope this helps.